Hello, this is Ichi Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. Let's get ready to collect some mushrooms. Okay, so I would like to buy a whole bunch of items from the adventurer. Hopefully, you've already unlocked some stuff from the moon base there. And I'm just going to buy a ton of magnifying glasses because I'm going to be running into a lot of new enemies in the near future. And I'd also like to buy some antidotes since we're probably going to get poisoned at some point in time. And right now, we have more money than I could ever spend uh, otherwise. So we might as well put some of it to use. And I would actually like to buy some eye drops, even though I did just buy that headgear to protect against the blindness. I only want to give that to uh, Jan and Magnolia there. But for Nikolai and you, I want their magic attack boosting headgear equipped. So eye drops are cheap enough to get the job done for them. And I'd rather not spend the MP on Asuna now anyway. Let's see, I'd also like to buy another weapon that I wasn't really planning on until today, but I'm going to make a last second change. I want to buy the Asafune Katana. That'll be useful for the Swordmaster job class, and I'd like to work on that a little bit there too. And speaking of the job classes, let's see, we got the Hawkeye job class last time, and their passive ability is Eagle Eye, which that description is not entirely accurate both literally and figuratively it does boost your accuracy by 100 percent but it also removes the evasion count of any enemies that you're attacking so that's pretty nice so you 100 accuracy will mean 100 accuracy unlike every other final fantasy game that actually has attack multipliers on it but all right, so now let's head on back to the Northeast Woods there. I still need to find some more of those sand hoppers around here to fill out my bestiary. Once I'm done with that, then I'll stop chaining a whole bunch of battles together. Okay, so on the overworld, that is. Because there's really no point at that, at that point. So, okay, so let's see. We are... Eh, we lost a little bit of HP. Might as well... Top that off. And get ready for, well, not grinding, but farming. So let's get inside. And then it doesn't matter where you are in the dungeon since it's just the one room. But you want to boost up your encounter rate just to look around and find some of those myconids around here. Okay, now this was not a bunch of them. So, even though I could find them in a subsequent battle, like if I beat these guys in one round and then chose to fight another one, I'm just going to run right now because I'm already overpowered enough as it is. And I'd like to create a command set for that too, since I'm probably going to need to do this a few times. So, save the command set. That way, I can just run from battles really quickly. Although, I will need to heal. After that one, yeah, those guys still hit re really hard, even with the best armor. And that's pretty much the case in both first game and this one. But, uh, well, we'll keep trying. So let's go command set three, and that'll be good. Now, I'm pressing the Y button to remove the auto battle before the next battle, just in case I space out for a minute and forget to disable it when I actually do find them. Okay, well, if the next one isn't it, then I'm just gonna find them off screen eventually, and then we'll get them. Okay, well, we got one and a fourth second battle there. So, yeah, why don't we go with a bunch of heat spells? Since everything's weak to fire here. That worked. Unfortunately, you is probably going to die now. Why don't we get Nikolai to help out with that? Let's get okay, a good cure spell on you. And then, let's see, probably a fire spell. Oh, no, not there. 
fire spell on you. And then a couple arrow spells. And why don't we get Jan to help out just in case. I don't think Nikolai could quite have enough damage to get the job done. So let's go with the Sidewinder on both of them. And then some single attacks on the witch there. Okay, well, at least we're, we'll survive. Now I'm just going to keep on going with successive battles as long as I can. And find another Mykonid. Very nice. Okay, so... Yeah, with these guys, I'm going to do the same thing with Jan there. So hit both of them there. Then single target the Witch, because you want to watch out for the counterattack from the Mykonids. But with Magnolia, let's just go double Sidewinder. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're good. I was going to say you want to watch out for the single targeting attacks on the Mykonid, but fortunately we found them, or we killed them very quickly. Okay, so, hmm, I think I'll be able to kill both of them. I'm not entirely sure, but I will give it a try. Let's go like that. Okay, well, at least we got one of them, the important one. And, yeah, we'll just go with Arrow now. Even though the Witch does have quite a bit more magic defense than the other enemies in the dungeon, Arrow is still a really good way to go against them. But, uh, okay, so how many did we get? Oh, and we learned Warhead. Very nice. Okay, three down. We need two more, I believe. Yeah. Two more. Okay, then, yeah, we definitely need to heal up after that one there. Okay, that ought to be good. Now, with Magnolia, since I'm done with Hawkeye, let's see, I was going to return her to Valkyrie, but I figured, why not go with Swordmaster for her for a little bit, as long as I don't have anything better to do, and I am going to make her into a Swordmaster later on for one particular instance so let's see why don't we go back to hmm what weapons are good for you first okay so we've got the axe because there's a lot of plant enemies around here and i think i'm gonna keep that on her because uh well we do have the katana there hmm now the broad axe would still be better against plant enemies even with or without the weapon proficiency that I want. Okay, then, yeah, we'll just leave it like that. I was thinking about equipping the spear for using, like, acrobatics or something there, but I think I'll just stick with shamanism as my secondary job command for Sidewinder against these guys. Okay, well, there's the one. Okay, so... Yeah, let's have Nikolai get the job done here. Let's see, why don't we go with two fire spells, one multi-targeting, and then two arrow spells to finish off the witch. I think that'll get the job done. I'm just letting the battles go extremely fast here, even though, well, it might be difficult to follow what's going on there. But I'm just farming here. I just want to get this done and then move on to other things and we've got our fifth mic in there okay so let's go yeah i guess i'll just go with the same thing even though one fire spell seemed to be enough but well i don't know maybe i'll hit a low damage roll or something oh right the arrow spells yeah now we actually have the magic attack stat to be able to damage the witch pretty well. Okay, and then, okay, so that's everything I need from the Mykonids, but well, let's chain the battles a little more while we're at it. Okay, so let's go with, no, no, just one Sidewinder, but two physical attacks on the witch. Same thing for Magnolia there. So let's go two Sidewinders. Or no, no, just the one. 
And then... Uh, let's see. Two attacks on the witch. That should be good. Or we could just kill them that way. That works too. I'm a little surprised we dealt quite that much damage. And by the way, with... Uh, what is it? With Magnolia... Or no, with Jan there, I just want him kept as a... As a Hawkeye there for the weapon proficiency with rifles. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure I can't kill them right now. So what I'm going to do is try to use nothing ventured. Maybe I can draw their aggro a bit there. Yeah, slow things down a little bit. But as you can see, drawing aggro is pretty hit or miss. Especially in the demo there. Uh-oh. Whoa. Broke the frame rate there, Magnolia. Okay, so... Yeah, some of us are gonna die. Unless this works. This time around. And fortunately, when I counter, they can't counter my counter there. Okay, well, that helped a little, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's get heat going there. And then another nothing ventured. Hopefully no one will die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Thank you. We survived! Woo! And we learned before swine, which counters magical attacks. Although there's very, very, very few enemies that cast magic. But it's available to us. Okay, so we're done with that. Return the encounter rate back to where it was. And now I would like to do some healing. <laughs> Holy cow, we barely survived that. Okay, so yeah, let's get Magnolia up to max. Okay, we're all good here. Yeah, why don't we uh, do some other things? Now, if you recall, there was the uh, the matriarch earlier who was saying something about a rumor about the beaches way to the west over there. So let's go check that out now. I think we're reasonably powerful enough to get the job done here. All right, and after that battle, we all gained uh, an experience level. And also with Magnolia, I equipped the Asafune now because we're not fighting plant enemies anymore. So that's pretty nice. He's got way better proficiency with that. Now I need to reach a beach over here. It could be any of the beaches that are around the west coast here. Doesn't matter which one. Oh, and I need to equip the miscellany command, particularly on you there. Okay, so you get that. Actually, why not give it to almost everyone? Let's see, with Magnolia? Hmm. Yeah, I'll give it to her. She'll be fine. Okay, then, yeah, why not heal up a little bit? Because this part will be hard. Maybe I should have healed up before I removed my magic commands. But I did not foresee that difficulty. But, uh, okay, so now just uh, stick around on the beach. We're looking for a new enemy around here. They are very common to encounter here. Except when they're not. Okay, uh, yeah, why don't we just, uh, yeah, have everyone run. Get out of here! Let's try that again. Day or night time, doesn't matter. Okay, well, they're here! Six of them! Holy crap! I'm totally unprepared for six. I am, seriously, this could be a problem. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do. Let's go with four lightnings on jumpers yeah these guys have really high physical and magical defense and they've got quite a bit of hp so what i'm going to do let's see let's start with an examine then let's go with uh the item that we won from amy there bomb fragment that deals 500 damage to all enemies regardless of 
their defense or magic defense stats there. So that's one reason why I waited this long to do this, so that I would have the bomb fragment to make these guys a lot easier to kill. And then, let's see, I could go lightning. I'm thinking if I want to go with a hammer or just more lightning on them. Probably hammer, just to make sure I kill at least one of them so that I can add them to the bestiary there. And then, let's see, with Jan, let's see. Let's go double sidewinder on all of those guys. And then I'm just thinking if I want to maybe have him examined just in case bad things happen. I don't think so. I think we'll just leave that alone. Just go double sidewinder. Let's see, you don't have much that you could do, but maybe I could go with nothing ventured. Maybe that'll help draw their fire. The other problem with these guys is that, yeah, they like to run away a lot. And they can poison you. Yeah, it's really hard to damage them with just regular physical attacks. Magic is usually the way to go, but we don't really have many options here. So I'll see what we can do. Ow! Okay, that one wasn't so bad. Okay, so now, yeah, we just examine them and then finish them. Okay, we got one at least. Hopefully the other one won't decide to kill me. Oh, yeah, we still got some attacks left over. Wow. I'm surprised he dealt that kind of damage. By the way, katanas are strong against uh, aquatic-type enemies. But now, yeah, I've, I'm getting out of here. That's all I wanted. I wanted to get the bestiary entry there and get out of there. Those guys, yeah, they deal way too much damage. But, uh, okay, so we got that. Yeah, why don't we get everyone back on black and white magic secondary? Although, except for Magnolia. Maybe give her... Nah, let's just leave her as is. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish off the, her job class before we have to move... Or we get to the next dungeon, that is. Okay, so, yeah, let's get a little healing going on there. Okay, and, oh yeah, I need to cure poison there. I'm going to rest up at an inn soon anyway, so might as well just use the MP. Let's also, yeah, reduce the encounter rate. Anything with weapons that I change? Nope, nope, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, I suppose firearms just have so much attack power in the demo. That's why Nikolai was able to deal so much damage there. Not to mention the weapon proficiency he has now. Yeah, that's really the big advantage of... Or one of the big advantages of the Hawkeye job class. Let's finish off a battle here, too. Alright, and after that battle, I mastered the Swordmaster job class for Magnolia there. So, yeah, we got that out of the way now. Let's return her to... Oh, where was it? The Valkyrie job class. And this is basically how I'm going to keep my party members for most of the remainder of the game, other than, like, boss fights where I need a specific setup or something. So, let's see. Coming up here, yeah, I'm going to want to have Miscellany for the next dungeon because that's we're going to have some new enemies over there. Might even want to give that to you there. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, and then what else do we got? Okay, with Nikolai, well, I want him on Spirit Magic for sure. And that's one of the reasons why I have the magnifying lenses that I just bought there. Okay, so for your support skills, that ought to be good. Let's see, for you, let's see, all your skills are good. Once you've uh, examined all the new enemies, then you can just uh, go back to black and white magic for a secondary there. If only for healing, really. And then, okay, so for you, you got those two. The ability she learned for mastering the Swordmaster Jab class is redoubled effort there, which requires you to have a lot of BP to make use of it, which kind of is slow. <laughs> I mean, if you're going into that high BP, in the demo at least, I mean, you could have won the battle by then, almost any battle, really. So... Yeah, kind of pointless there. It would be useful if I had the BP, but I won't. 
but okay. And then for equipment there, let's equip the harinas there for the blind immunity. Really, Nikolai and Magnolia are the only two who would remotely care about that. Let's see, with Nikolai though, yeah, let's get you back on some round shields to get a little bit of that defense back. We'll be fine damaging enemies without the extra rods, unless if it's like a situation where I really need them, I can just switch back. Okay, but as for all of that, I think that's good. Let's see. Okay, so we got the mushrooms. Let's get them back to the student. After resting up at the end, hopefully they will not expire within the next 20 seconds. Or actually, no, it wasn't the student who was looking for the mushrooms. It was the dorm mother, the lady downstairs. Or, well, on the main floor, but you know what I mean. Okay. But, uh, yep, got all of them. And for a reward, we get money! Too late for it to be useful. Oh, well. But in any case, looks like we're going to get some items. So, yeah, this is how that works. Every now and then, you'll get this pop-up there from the moon base. Let's see, I've still got quite a bit of work to do here. So, yeah, we'll just well, keep working on that some more. If you got it up to level 5, you could get more of those bomb fragments. That would really help against those chompers. But it just takes so much time to make it happen. It's, it's not worth it. I mean, maybe if you're going to, like, max out everything, which I probably will eventually. Let's see. How are we doing now? Okay. Oh, I wanted to see how much time we had. Okay. So, I think what I'm going to do... Uh, after this episode is I'm just going to let my 3DS sit there overnight to finish off th the shops you get at the well at the main base there but now let's see off screen I also fought oh wow lots of new enemies yeah we finished off the sand hoppers so I've maxed out the bestiary entries for every enemy on the overworld so and I've max out the job classes that I care about, so that's pretty nice. And also, we got the bestiary entry for Amy there. Not much of a gang with only three people in it, but whatever works there. Well, yeah, pretty much, Magnolia. Yeah, we didn't even have that one in the first game. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of new job classes in the main game, and a lot of them are really, really good. But yeah, when we mastered Hawkeye, we got that Warhead ability for uh, Sword Magic there. And let's see, over here... Well, yeah, pretty much. We just wanted the kid, really. What's the worst that could possibly happen from letting her go? But, uh, okay, so we have that quest from the guard back at uh, our campus there. And they want us to find their father at a cave far south of the, what is that? Of the Temple of Wind. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this in here and just, yeah, go nuts with my regular physical attacks here. There you go. Uh, nope, don't need to chain battles anymore. Not here, anyway. In the dungeon, I will. Okay, we made it. How are we looking on HP and MP there? I think we're looking pretty good. But can we find the guard's lost father in the southern cave? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. This is Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.